what have you heard about Ratu and what are you looking for from him today? Yeah, I, I think he's played some games with the Islanders. Uh, you know, really conscientious guy, 200 foot kind of uh, center and can also versatile play the wing. So i um, excited to see, you know, uh, his development. He's still a young guy. You know, he played in the World Juniors a while ago. So it's not like, uh, you know, he's a young kid that we're going to develop here. It's your lineup, obviously, uh, giving guys a look from uh, the HL. It disrupts things. But do you, do you like the idea between now and the end of the year, putting putting eyes on as many guys as possible? Like yourself? disruption in the in the yeah, just the lineup. You know, changing lineups and guys well, coming down and going up. In house competition, yeah. you know, you know. I mean, I like players being comfortable and not comfortable. So you know, uh, you know, some guys are taking. You know, we got to get people pushing people and I think that's the best way you know whether it's the AHL whether it's through other means um, we can't get comfortable around here we got a lot of work to do and I want to see what the other guys can do and plus other guys got to make sure they stay in the lineup. How much does it help you uh, as a relatively new uh, coach of the organization get a read on guys for you know, next season and beyond? Yeah I mean I hate to say it but this is kind of like an extended training camp like we're starting a bit early we're trying to you know, there's still stuff, system stuff guys are trying to understand, get that, you know, we're, we're chipping away at certain things. Um, still have to get better, you know, at certain things. You know, we have to become a better practice team. And that, I think that'll translate in our game. But, um, you know, we're chipping away. I have liked a lot of, a lot of positives of what's happened here in the last 10, 11 games. But um, that's why I think in-house competition drives that. Uh, and putting Di Giuseppe down, obviously, that's kind of protecting an yeah. asset. But how much uh, yeah. did it bother you as coach, given how he performed for you? Well, it's the you know I understand both sides, right? You you know you want to protect him, which you know I don't want him to leave. And uh, but he's really been a bought-in guy. You know he's he's taken those eleven games, and uh, you know we're asking for a first four checker. He's doing it. You know, the guy blocked a shot. You know, the guy takes short shifts. He's doing all the little things that, and it's good to have those guys uh, on your team because other guys will follow. So yeah. You know, he'll be back up. It's just a protected, like you said, our asset.